What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel. And today we're tackling a serious and pressing issue that's been making headlines, which is a significant data breach. And in our digital age, data breaches are not just a new one. They represent a real threat to our privacy and security. So let's roll up our sleeves and get into the details of this incident, understand its impact, and most importantly, explore how we can safeguard ourselves against such vulnerabilities in the future. So let's get to it. the headlines at least once a week a business big or small doing damage control after hackers gained access to your personal information in a recent alarming development the city of hope a beacon of hope for many dealing with cancer diabetes and other life-threatening conditions reported a data breach now this center known for its comprehensive care and cutting edge research confirms that the sensitive information of over 800,000 patients were exposed and this incident isn't just a number it's about real people potentially including you or someone you love whose private information was compromised. Now, between September and October last year, unauthorized access was gained to a port of City of Hope's digital fortress. Now, despite their swift actions to mitigate the effects, the breach left a window open long enough for significant data to be compromised. I mean, imagine everything from your full name, contact details, and date of birth to more sensitive data like social security numbers, medical records, and even financial information potentially falling into the wrong hands. Thankfully, City of Hope has been transparent and proactive, which, you know, a lot of other companies don't always do that, but they're offering identity monitoring services to affected individuals, as well as strengthening their defenses to prevent future incidents. But the question remains, how did this happen? And more importantly, how can we protect ourselves? Well, first things first, if you're among those affected or even suspect you might be, it's crucial to take immediate action, beginning by taking advantage of the identity monitoring services that are offered by City of Hope. And then you wanna make sure you monitor your bank statements and stay alert of any unusual activity or unsolicited communications. We all get those you know, random calls throughout the day but you want to be weary of anyone asking you for your personal information. I recommend all of my friends, relatives, cousins, nephews, employees, lock their credit reports. If you don't do that, um, someone can impersonate you and open up accounts and cause a lot of drama in your life. But let's broaden our horizon. This incident is a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities inherent in our digital world. So how can we fortify our defenses? Well, here's a couple tips that I've talked about on the channel in the past. Number one is use strong, unique passwords. I always talk about using a password manager to keep track of your secure passwords. And no, password one, two, three does not cut it. So make sure you don't use that. The first mistake people make is to use the same, oftentimes easy to guess, password for everything. When a data breach happens, like what we just saw for AT&T customers, it's a problem because hackers can now spread or sell your personal data. And if the criminals get one password, they'll quickly try that for all your accounts. But those password managers, like I recommend, KeyPass as one of them, is a really good open source solution to help you manage all your passwords and keep them secure. Secure. Now, number two is enable two-factor authentication. And this basically will add an extra layer of security, which never hurts. But also potentially a um, what's called an authenticator app. Uh, I strongly recommend uh, all of those because they protect you even in the case of someone getting your password. And also you wanna be skeptical because phishing attempts often follow data breaches. So if an email or a call seems suspicious, just make sure you trust your gut. That way you don't fall for any of those scams. And then lastly, you wanna make sure you stay updated with everything. And I'm talking about keeping all your software updated, 
because a lot of these updates often patch security vulnerabilities. So you want to make sure you update all your apps, all your software and your systems that you have. That way you get fixes right away. And then also in our tech journey, staying informed and vigilant is our best defense. That's why I cover a lot of these articles. So let's not allow these breaches to deter us, but instead empower us to be more security savvy. If you think about it, like the, the corporation has two jobs. One, they have to do their core business and they have to do cybersecurity. The hackers only have to do one job and that's hack in. So that wraps up my deep dive into this significant data breach and how we can bounce back stronger and more secure. Remember in the realm of technology, knowledge is not just the power, it's protection. And here on my channel, we're all about empowering you with that knowledge. So you're not just surviving in the tech world, you're thriving. And so I'm Josh and it's been a pleasure guiding you through this intricate issue. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insight tips and tutorials together let's keep our digital life secure and our tech spirits high stay safe stay curious and always keep it techie